In this video, I will show you how to calculate the RMS or effective value of a pure sine wave. See, this is a pure sine wave. Let's say this is a pure sinusoidal alternating current. It has positive half cycle and negative half cycle. During the interval 0 to 5, our alternating current will go through positive half cycle and during 5 to twice 5 interval, our alternating current will go through negative half cycle and we have to calculate the RMS value of that sinusoidal current. Okay. Now, before going to the calculation, let me write down the equation of this current. See, I will be equal to I m sin omega t for the interval 0 to 5. Here this I m is the positive maximum value of the alternating quantity. Now look at this intervals 5 to twice 5. It will be equal to minus I m sin omega t. It will be within the interval 5 to twice 5. Here this minus I m is the negative maximum value of the alternating quantity. Okay, now let me calculate the RMS or effective value of the alternating quantity. So at first we have to take the square of the given waveform. See, if I take the square of this i, I will get i equal to i m square sin square omega t during the interval of 0 to 5. This will be i m square sin square omega t. Okay. Now see, if I take the square of this negative half cycle, I will also get i m square sin square omega t that means if i take the square of this waveform i will get i square will be equal to i m square sin square omega t okay now i will calculate the rms value of this current see we calculate the rms value of any alternating quantity by using this formula RMS value of current will be denoted with IRMS. IRMS will be the equal to root over area of the squared waveform over full cycle divided by the base length or the period of that squared waveform. See, I have to calculate the area of the squared waveform over full cycle. See, you will see in this waveform I will get phi is the total cycle or full cycle of this waveform because after phi in the upcoming cycles you will see the same waveform will be repeated okay so this phi is the period of this squared waveform now in the numerator i have to calculate the area of the squared waveform over full cycle see i have to calculate the area from this point to this point our current is taking this area and within this region the equation of current is given by i m square sin square omega t now to calculate the area of this squared waveform i will simply integrate this within 0 to phi limit with respect to d omega t so here our rms value of current IRMS will be equal to root over area of the squared waveform over full cycle will be integration of 0 to phi I m square sin square omega t with respect to d omega t and period of that squared waveform will be equal to phi so I will divide it with phi. Now our IRMS will be equal to C we cannot integrate sin square omega t. Therefore we have to take a half outside the integration. So I will get I m square divided by twice phi integration of 0 to phi 2 sin square omega t 
integrated with respect to d omega t you may have seen this formula 2 sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta now see if i expand 2 sin square omega t by using this formula i will get root over i m square divided by twice phi integration of 0 to phi 1 minus cos 2 omega t integrated with respect to omega t ok now if i integrate this 1 minus cos 2 omega t in terms of omega t i will get omega t minus sin 2 omega t divided by 2 integration limit 0 and 5 and I will take a root over on top of that now see if I put the value of phi in place of omega t and omega t here and if I put the value of 0 in place of omega t and omega t here I will get I m square twice phi omega t will be replaced by phi minus sine twice phi divided by 2 minus 0 plus sine 2 into 0 by 2 you will see the value of sine twice phi will be equal to 0 and the value of sine 2 into 0 that means sine 0 will be 0 that means all these terms will have a value of 0 so from the third bracket I can get only phi so I can write I m square divided by twice phi into phi so this phi and this phi will get cancelled therefore I will get root over I m square divided by 2 from which I can write I m divided by root 2 which will be equal to 0 0.707 I m so the RMS value of a pure sine wave will be equal to I m by root 2 or 0 0.707 I m similarly I can calculate the RMS value of an alternating voltage or a sine wave by using this formula V RMS will be equal to V m maximum value of that sine wave divided by root 2 or 0 0.707 707 v m okay that's it thank you